Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Master Mojo Ash. In this video I will show you top 10 most selfish characters in Dragon Ball anime. While heroes like Gaku are always putting their lives on the line to protect their people, other Dragon Ball characters are known to be quite selfish. Akira Toriyama's Dragon Ball is one of the biggest anime series of all time and it's done an excellent job to remain relevant and a part of the conversation when it comes to the biggest shonen series. Dragon Ball has been around for decades, and it's been able to evolve in different ways that cater to the changing sensibilities of the anime industry. Dragon Ball has always excelled in the area of diverse characters, and there is no shortage of entertaining individuals to showcase in battle or hang around with during moments of downtime. There are many honorable and altruistic figures who make up Gaku's inner circle, but Dragon Ball also exists in a universe where many individuals are driven by greed and less desirable impulses. Before I start the list subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Let's start the video. Number 10. Vegeta has come a long way but still puts himself above others. Dragon Ball is full of heroes who start as deadly enemies but later redeem themselves. Vegeta is one of the most extreme examples, and the amount of progress that he's made is truly inspiring. Even now Vegeta continues to show remorse for his past deeds and develop in more mature ways. That being said, Vegeta's roots go back to a spoiled prince who is used to getting whatever he wants. These values are still present in Vegeta to some degree. And while he has a family to think about, he's still quick to put himself above others. Number 9. Oolong lives life carefree where he's number 1. Oolong never fully disappears from the picture in the Dragon Ball universe, but the unusual shape-shifting anthropomorphic pig plays a much larger role in the original Dragon Ball series. Oolong is technically a good guy, but he's naturally mischievous in nature, and his transformative powers are usually put to use to trick others so that he can personally benefit from their loss. Oolong's antics are fairly benign in contrast to some of the villains in Dragon Ball, but he's still known to put himself above others, perhaps best illustrated in the Dragon Ball wish that he steals from Pilaf. Number 8. Pilaf. Pilaf considers himself a natural ruler who deserves whatever he wants. Pilaf is one of the more unusual nuisances Gaku faces in Dragon Ball who goes on to annoy him throughout his entire life. Pilaf has delusions of grandeur from his first appearance, and he uses his resources to inflate his public image and have others do his bidding. His entire mission for the Dragon Balls is so that he can acquire more power and flippantly enslave humanity to follow his rule. Anyone who is willing to act in such a manner is incredibly selfish. Pilaf turns into more of a joke, but he's still focused on the Dragon Balls. Number 7. Dotaki. Dotaki turns people into dolls so they can be his helpless playthings. Dragon Ball GT doesn't get a lot of love, but it features some of the franchise's most interesting character designs as it hops around many different planets in the series' earlier escapades. Dotaki is one minor obstacle who uses the power of blood to transform individuals into dolls, which is a tragic fate that briefly befalls Pan. Dotaki does this to accumulate energy to fuel baby, but he has his own ulterior motives in play where he cherishes the compliant dolls that he acquires. Dotaki has no regard for the people who lose their agency for his own sick delights. Number 6. God of Destruction Beerus God of Destruction Beerus is conditioned to answer to no one. Dragon Ball is a series that deals with some incredibly powerful celestial beings who just operate on a different level than standard humans. Dragon Ball Super introduces Gods of Destruction and Universe 7's representative, Beerus, is someone who even intimidates Shinron. Beerus can erase individuals or entire planets with minimal efforts, and this level of power has turned him into someone who takes what he wants and doesn't like to share. Thankfully, Beerus' selfish impulses are most commonly focused around food, but he's still not someone to rub the wrong way. Number 5. Kid Buu. Kid Buu is pure chaotic energy and does whatever he wants. 
Goku and company have faced some extreme threats, and Dragon Ball Z goes out on Majin Buu and his many forms as the ultimate evil. Each of Buu's different forms is frustrating in different ways, but Kid Buu poses the most danger and operates like pure, unrestrained did. Kid Buu doesn't think about anyone else, and everything that he does is to serve himself. Kid Buu executes most of Earth's population for his own selfish purposes, but he also turns a lot of people into candy and food, which he gluttonously consumes. Number 4. Frieza. Frieza builds an empire out of lies and manipulation and believes he deserves the best. Dragon Ball deals with a lot of villains, but Frieza is by far the most persistent and entitled of the lot. Frieza spends years as a tyrannical ruler of the galaxy where he recklessly destroys planets, conquers races, and does whatever he wants to serve his ego and expand his empire. Frieza believes that he is above everything else, and even after his death, he continues to act as if he deserves better. The universe repeatedly seems to bend to Frieza's whims in a way that only further enables him. Number 3. Captain Jiny U. Captain Jiny Yu's greatest power involves the stealing of others' bodies. The Jiny Yu Force is one of the more entertaining groups of villains to appear in Dragon Ball Z, and it's a shame that they ultimately have to exit the series. Each member of the team has unique powers, and the leader, Captain Jiny Yu, is able to execute a body swap maneuver. This is one of the more selfish acts in Dragon Ball and Jiny Yu's whole strategy revolves around stealing the body of someone stronger and continually acquiring greater power at the expense and confusion of his opponents. Number 2. Zamasu. Zamasu steals a body and sets out to eliminate all mortals. Dragon Ball Super's Gaku Black Saga is particularly thrilling since it weaves a decent mystery over just how this evil double of Gaku exists. It turns out that Zamasu has pulled off a major coup with his future self wherein he steals a version of Gaku's body and acquires immortality. Zamasu's master plan involves the execution of all mortals, who he writes off as a hopeless sect of existence. Zamasu is prepared to cause unprecedented tragedy just because of his deranged perspective on mortals, and it takes the efforts of Zeno to end this mess. Number 1. Baby. Baby is a parasitic life form who will take people over without hesitation. A major villain who rears its head in Dragon Ball GT is the parasitic threat, Baby, who ultimately goes on to use Vegeta as his host and cause serious damage. Baby possesses Vegeta, but he also takes over the majority of Dragon Ball's cast and a good portion of the Earth's population. In Baby's defense, any parasite is supposed to consume and conquer but they're typically not sentient like Baby. His entire existence is devoted to taking people over for his own malevolent hive mind, and if gone unchecked, he'd have an entire planet that follows his commands.